Uh, we begin this hour with the man who says, when Ben stops printing, the party is over. This is the man who sent ripples through the financial universe. His name is David Stockman. He's the former President Reagan's budget director. David, welcome back. Glad to be here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you say, and well, we got a rally on our hands this morning. The Dow's up 14,750 almost. Right. You're saying that if Ben hints that he's stopping printing money, we go straight down. Yeah. But if he keeps on printing on and on and on and on and on, we've got a different crisis right. and the market will go down. Is that right? Yes, because we're in a monetary fantasy land. They have violated every rule of sound money that's ever existed. They've got the money market rates uh, at zero. They have managed and uh, rigged the entire yield curve. So nothing is real out there. It's all trading against the Fed. Now the speculators are basically saying as long as the Fed can and hold the uh, bond price up and the yield down and keep uh, shoveling out free overnight money, it's safe to get in the trade. But they don't, they're not there to own it, they're there to rent it. It's all on repo, overnight money. The minute the Fed hints that it's going to normalize interest rates in some way, that trade will be unwound. The fast money will sell the bond and the, then the slower money will sell the bond and then pretty soon the mutual fund managers will panic. And where is the bid? Right now the Fed is the the bid. The Fed is propping up the price of the bond, and the Fed is shoveling free money into the bond market or into the Wall Street All to right. speculate. What comes first? Ben hints that he's going to stop printing or some kind of financial crisis because he's printing so much? Well, it could be either. I mean, we uh, had the same thing when the Fed uh, basically created the huge inflation of the 90s and the uh, uh, dot-com Well, bubble. I'm looking for a okay. time frame. All of our viewers, they want to yeah. know, all right, yeah. we've got doom and gloom, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, when's it coming? Well, you can't pr predict these things. They are like black swans. But you know if you're violating the rules massively, if you've disabled the price discovery mechanism, the interest rate mechanism of the financial markets, if everything's trading against what the Fed is doing, and bubbles are being created everywhere, and we have it already. We got subprime auto bubbles, a housing bubble started, the stock market is in a bubble, risk assets are in a bubble. Uh, when all of this uh, is uh, uh, generated by policy that is so far off base, you don't know when confidence is going to break, but when it does, things will unwind very rapidly. This has happened twice in this century already. It's not speculation. Wait a second, wait a second. Yeah. Paul Krugman, yeah. he won a Nobel Prize for economics. He's writing in the New York Times today, this is no time for austerity. You've got to spend more. You've got to print more, spend more, whether it's Europe or America, print more, spend more. Is he so totally wrong? I think he's completely wrong. We have been doing this over and over for about 20 years now, and the economy is actually failing. The real growth rate of our economy for 13 years has been the lowest since the Civil War. The median income of the average family today is down 8% since 2000. So what we have is massive fiscal stimulus. What we have is a Fed that creates serial bubbles. All of this creates kind of the appearance of prosperity temporarily, and then uh, the day of reckoning comes, the bubbles break, then we have disaster in its wake, and then they come back and say, let's do more of the same so that we can get out of the mess well, that we're in. David, what if there's a happy medium here? I mean, the yeah. smart money knows that interest rates will be going up in 2014, beginning of 2015. The smart money knows that $85 billion a month is going to be pulled away at some point, the QE. So it, it, you're warning that it's going to be disaster either way. Krugman is saying it's all great. What if there's a happy medium here and we don't have that quote-unquote crash that you're warning about? Well, you would like to have a happy, happy medium, but when you have trillion-dollar markets that are entirely an artifact of manipulation by the Fed, of uh, uh, perceptions about what it's going to do next, I think that's pretty dangerous. These are not stable, healthy, right. uh, sustainable financial markets. These are so bubbles. So what is David Stockman? doing with this money? Yeah, I mean, yeah, look, I, you've made money in your career, yeah, right. you've had a, a, an illustrious career. What yeah. are you doing with it? Well, I'm doing the same thing that the Fed is telling millions of savers in this country to do, and that is put your money in short-term uh, savings accounts or bank accounts where you earn nothing, because it's the only safe play to, place to put your money. And that is so wrong to have 12 people on the monetary politburo, as I call it, the central bank, saying that you are going to be punished 
punished if you're prudent and you save and you want to main, remain liquid, but we are commanding that you put your money into a junk bond fund or into the Russell 2000 or some other risk but asset. This is you, what they're telling you today, and it's not my words. Oh, but are, they you, say, are you happy that you've become the ultimate doom and gloomer? <laughs> I mean, we used to think the gold bugs, that they were, they were the guy, oh, it's all, the world's going to crash, we're all coming to an end. But now, David Stockman's saying that. Well, you I'm are. saying that this is a dangerous thing to be doing. It's unnecessary. It's because we're unwilling to tell the public. But you're also saying yeah. there's no way out. I don't see how the Fed gets out of this corner. No central bank has ever been this deep into a corner. All the other central banks of the world are now copycatting the same thing. The Bank of Japan is absurd what, what they're going to do. Double, but they've gone further. <laughs> well, they're going right. to double. The one last money. one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yours fixed off pretty good. You can put your money into savings. What about the 95% of Americans who need to do something for retirement? The doom and gloomers always have their day. Yeah. I've seen a lot of guys who are right 10 years after the fact and then take their victory laps. But what about real life people watching the show who would like to make some yeah. appreciation on their investments? What can they do? What if your prediction doesn't come true for another 10 years and they've sat in the corner waiting? Well, I think, uh, you know, everybody has to make that uh, judgment for themselves. But they were told that in late 99 and 2000, and they got hammered. Five trillion worth of stock value was right. lost, okay? They were told it's safe to come back in. Greenspan has got it fixed now. He's reflating the economy. 1% interest rates. They went back in. They got hammered in housing. Then they went into the stock market. And they got destroyed in 207, 208. Many of them are just now crawling out of the cave and they're being lured back in by the same Wall Street uh, touts who always tell you stocks are cheap. Yeah. It is not Whoa. worth it. Is the, not. Oh, there was fighting words, David Stockman. <laughs> He's a Wall Street tout. Oh, no, 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 watch I'm, I'm, I'm an American I, company yeah. tout. If yeah. you don't think IBM is a good company, don't invest in it. That's all I can tell you. All right. Yeah, uh, well, I'm sorry we're out of time. <laughs> David, you really have made ripples with that book of yours okay. and, uh, and your opinions. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, let's check the big ball because we now have a more solid rally, despite what David Stockman has to 